Well, what do you know? I'm back with a whip update. Uh, I didn't expect it <laughs> so soon, but everyone responded so amazingly sweet. And a lot of you were saying, do another update. Uh, let us know how you're doing with your whips. Uh, we love your whips. Well, so do I. So I'm back to show them, uh, to show my progress on uh, quite a few of them, actually. It's been four weeks now, I think. So uh, I got a lot done, I think. But first of all, I wanted to tell you uh, how I started cross stitching. Um, I, I was about nine, I, I just discovered this. Uh, I was uh, having a sleepover with my grandparents and my grandma always, uh, uh, she was sewing, sewing, uh, knitting, crocheting, I don't know, whatever. Uh, all the crafts and she was really good at it and uh, she had this tiny little kit she got um, while doing grocery sh shopping she, you could save uh, uh, you could save for it and uh, you got this stamps kind of things and um, she got me this kit and I just discovered that there's a date on the back 1988 and I'm pretty sure uh, she just got it when she gave it to me. Uh, so one afternoon she was teaching me how to make this, these crosses and she made me do the bottom line. And after that I went playing with my friends and forgot all about it. But I did bring it home and uh, I never lost it. It, it was always right there. Um, even while moving and all those things, I was I apparently still knew where it was. Um, after I got married, uh, I got a friend and she was cross stitching and I was like, oh, hey, I started it once. I might like it. I like knitting. I like crocheting. I, I, I like doing stuff like that. So I picked up this really tiny kit and uh, finished it just like that in that evening it was it's really tiny it's this little kitten it is from Lenard it's really tiny I'm not gonna show you the back it's horrible but you can see it fits in my hand really small the back is horrible I know I don't know what I was doing but I really enjoyed stitching this and immediately I I couldn't go online back then. Um, I found uh, a kit from Lenart and I bought it at a local shop and I stitched it. It was this one. And I loved it. And it got me totally hooked on cross stitch. It's my first piece, as you can see. <laughs> Still not framed. <laughs> uh, I only frame things if I give them. Otherwise, I never go get around to it. It's so expensive to frame things, and I can spend that much on cross that money on cross stitch. So that's what I usually do. I did. Uh, I hope to frame more now. <laughs> um, but that was my first real cross stitch, and I wanted to show you that. Uh, so my grandma taught me how to cross stitch, but I got hooked on cross stitch when I was about, mm, I think, 23 or something, early 20s, somewhere like that. So you can see this grayish lines on the bottom. That's when what I did when I was nine. <laughs> really funny, I think. So, what have I been doing the last four weeks? Um, I told about Year of Whips. Um, and Year of Whips was starting at the 18th. And I did my video a week earlier than that. And I was really strict to myself. I can only start stitching on those projects when the 18th starts. Uh, especially with... Uh, for coverage pages, Melanie at first stated they ha had to be new, you have to start them uh, new, uh, you can't have any um, 
anything stitched in it yet and she came back from that a bit and after a while she also came back from the, that they should be full pages they could be partials as, as well because it was still a lot of stitching and i agreed but i was really strict to myself so as i was working on a spring hammer uh, and I, al I was already wor working on a page from the year before and I thought I need to finish that page so I can do the page next to it for a year of whips. So I was working on that the week before. Um, after the video before year of whips started. Um, I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like. Again. <laughs> if I can find it. Oh, there. I hope someday I'm getting good at editing and I can just make it pop up over there, but for now, this is what it's gonna look like. Beautiful purples and greens, love it. problem is when I'm stitching this, I'm stitching this on 20 count 2 over 1 as I'm doing with my so many books but with so many books there's not a lot of confetti in there and it stitches up nicely but with this one it gets really lumpy um, I have page lines can't really see that on the screen but they, I know they are there I never ha I don't have that with any other of my whips only with this one uh, and I think it's because of the count number in combination with the, um, the confetti. So I'm trying now to... The page doesn't end right there, it's somewhere around there. I'm trying to move over to the next page to prevent the lines. But it's still... It's, it's not flat, it's really lump, bumpy and... Uh, it annoys me so much. So I didn't finish the page. <laughs> and when Melanie stated you could do partial pages, I was like, oh, I'll, I'll see how, w when I get back to it, I might just do do this page um, because this one was too far along to make it count, I think. But um, I'm pretty sure I can't finish all the year whips pieces I've, I said I wanted to do. It's so much. I did the math and uh, well, we'll see, but I'm not sure if I, I can make them. And if I can't, I might just finish that page and see if Melanie is okay with it. We'll see. I hope I have put in a, page, uh, a picture of where I was the last time you saw it because I made screenshots of them and I will try to edit, edit them in. I forgot to mention that. Um, so that's my first whip. Um, my second whip, after that, I worked on. Uh, it, it was still because I wasn't too focused on that one. It was annoying me a bit, and uh, I was eager to start the, the year of whips pieces. Uh, I kept. Uh, my attention went to all the other projects besides the spring hammer. So I did some a tiny bit of work on my fantasy cell. I hope I'll put a picture up he here where I was the last time you saw it. And Not new for the most of you, but this is what it's gonna look like. And I'm still working on the borders. I finished all the circles last time. Mm. Let me see. I did a tiny bit on the border. That the right side no I worked on that side so I'm past the halfway almost I need to 
fill in a bit in this circle with some white missing and then finish this a bit in this and then it's halfway on that side so almost half the border is done it was like one evening or so that I worked on this, not a lot uh, i try to put them all away later it takes so much time uh, so after that I did a bit on my Mirabilia it was still before year of whips and my Mirabilia isn't in there which is kind of a pity but oh well this is what she's gonna look like uh, Lady of Mystery from Nora Corbett Mirabilia and I hope I put a picture up here. Where I was last time. Uh, and as you can see, I didn't do much. I did a bit of filling in of the purple around here. And I did a bit of black around there. So I'm now trying to go down with the dress. And if I feel like doing it here her arm is here and i'm gonna do the skin one over one um i might do a length in here and then work on the dress again and do a length in here and work on the dress again to make it a bit more easy on myself it's on 32 count linen and <laughs> we'll see how one over one goes on 32 count linen So after that, uh, I worked on vintage linen in my only real project bag. Uh, I forgot her name. I should have put it down again. Uh, Milda Fizi Crafts. It's not completely right. It's a, it's someone from um, Europe, and she's on Etsy, and she made a beautiful bag for me. Um, I hope I put a picture up here of what she looked last time. And this is well this is what it's gonna look like when it's finished from Morishka vintage lilies it's really pretty when it's done it will be another evening or so um, I did this fla flower bud not completely but the browns in there just a tiny bit done. I love working on here. Uh, she's in year of whips B, so we finished the 18th. Of uh, we we got to the 18th. I'm a bit out of it today. I have uh, I've had a really weird evening yesterday, and I'm out of balance. Out of it was it was good for me, but. Uh, um, I wasn't sure if I was going to mention this, but uh, you're just getting to know me, so I don't want to talk about all of this really. You don't, you're not waiting for this, but um, I have a burnout and it's taking over my life. It's been a w almost six months since I got diagnosed and it's still not going better really but I think yesterday was good and I think it will help but uh, <laughs> I feel really weird <laughs> uh, so I'm not really focused I'm sorry for that uh, so that's all about that uh, after that uh, I did some work on Sydney um, Satsuma Street designs, um, Pretty Little Sydney, I 
I'm stitching this for my husband and he doesn't know it. This is what it's going to look like when it's finished. And I hope I put a picture up here of where I was last time. And this is where I am now. So I did this green, this green tree, and the bottom of these two buildings. Is it two buildings? No, it's probably just one. Most of that I did while uh, waiting in the hospital. Nothing serious. My son had an. Uh, appointment with the eye doctor and there was a lot of waiting so ABC <laughs> I was so happy with that um, then oh where's my notes after that forever and ever just another uh, one or two evenings I think so not a lot. Um, Forever and Ever is from the Songbirds Garden series of from Cottage Garden Samplings. Uh, it's the first one. I love this. Look at those birds. I'm nowhere near the birds yet. Um, I'm not telling you anything about the fabrics, but I think this is 32 count linen as well. Um, upside down again. I keep doing that to, that to this piece. I had the, oh, I will maybe post a picture of where I was last time. <laughs> it's not in my system yet. <laughs> Uh, I had, and otherwise I can tell you, I only had this leaf done. So I did the smaller leaf, the branch, I need to fill in the branch, and the flower knot. Not the flower, but that's it. Uh, so a bit more done on that one. I love this piece. gonna be crusted projects all over the place uh, but then I'm doing it right right uh, after spring hammer I always work on one um, no first sorry mandala tree um, yeah I still don't have a good picture printed out because of our printer so I'm gonna show you that on my phone it's always slow when I'm filming I'm sorry <laughs> I hope I edited this out all the waiting well here it is Mandela Tree of Life from Awesome Pattern Design Studio. Am I saying that right? Awesome Pattern Studio. That's it. Um, uh, I mostly worked on this in the car and while we were visiting my brother and sister-in-law. My sister-in-law is stitching as well. She's on Instagram as Jantina Stitches. Uh, I got her hooked <laughs> and I'm proud of it. <laughs> so I did a bit of stitching over there as well. Yeah, I think this is right. I hope I put a picture up here of where, where was the last time you saw it. Uh, but I only had this done. So I did a bit. I don't know why, but it cut me off. It's not on my phone. I don't know why that did, why it happened, but okay. Uh, so here's where I'm now. I hope it will become a focus piece soon because I like working on it. 
so then my next hate after spring hammer I worked on that uh, for about a week until um, year of whip started I think around that time and then I got to my uh, train of dreams from Randall Spengler um, it was my new year new start this year so last time you saw it it's I had just a tiny bit of work on it, done on it. Hardly worth showing. And here. This is what it's going to look like. And I, I've started over there in the corner. And I finished my page. My sister-in-law made me this little little needle miner. Love it. A butterfly. And I had a page finish. I love it. Randall Spanglers are always a lot of fun to work on. Um, the colors, not too much confetti. Still great details. If you if you're scared of starting a full coverage ahead. Uh, this, th this piece, it's not very big, uh, it's perfect to start with, uh, or any of his quick stitches, uh, I, I think Randall Spangler is a really good starting for it, point for full coverages. So, after I finished that page, um, I tried to focus on my butterfly, my peacock butterfly from Magic Needle, I know for sure now that's the English name of this, I think, Russian design. Um, this is what it's gonna look like when it's finished. I hope I put a picture up here of where I was the last time you saw it. So I started working on this with, in my mind, I could probably finish it in a week and then move on to another hate page. Um, but this Ada is so stiff and I, I'm not using the needle that came with the kit. I'm using a smaller needle, but still um, I keep poking my finger. I, I, I'm pushing the the needle through and it's going so difficult that I keep piercing my finger and it, it got really bad <laughs> so I, I had to go uh, stitch something else during the day and then I picked this up again in the evenings uh, I try to it's hard to leave a hate on the side but I did do the butterfly was done last time you saw it and I had the branch done and a bit started a bit over here so I did all this flip the loop over there on this side I only need to do a bit of the background half stitches I've done a few over here and there, there needs to be more in there and if I do that it will be done in just like that and then this side will be done and then over here, there's a, a big flower. It's not that much work, but it's it's like always, it's more work <laughs> than I thought it would be. But I'm getting there. Uh, okay, where am I? Um, the last piece I worked on after that, uh, after, so I, I picked up another hate to work on during the day. And the good thing about that, First, let me show you what it's gonna look like. It's Waterhole Master from David Penfound, another hate. It's for my youngest son and it's going to be huge. It's 91 pages and the partial pages aren't that small. So this is what it's gonna look like. And I'm on page 7. I hope I post a picture up here of where I was last time.
but yeah, one piece. Um, but well, I started on a new page. I had a bit of a start on that, but mostly I did the sky. <laughs> Show you the whole piece so far. And what I did now. I did I'm working in the sky. The most of this page is sky with a bit of the birds. I did so much fabric. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, I did a lot of the black in the evenings when I couldn't work on the butterfly because my finger really hurt. Uh, I was doing the darker colors, so I did a bit of more in the bird over here and the wings. And besides that, it's sky. And this morning I was really bummed. I was working on the the light pinkish color in there. And I don't know what it is with this color. I had it over this side on the on the other side of the tree as well. Is that the same color or is that no it's another color? With the light colors, sometimes they, they, they're they a bit dirty. Uh, I don't know what it is. I wash my fingers before I start stitching. And some threads, I'm working in the white color, so it's not really picking up fibers, dark fibers from other threads, but, but they look dirty. Can you see it? You can see it a bit up here. And the strand I, I did after that was just fine. Ah, it's so annoying. But, well, I'm hoping when the whole thing is finished, because it's going to be so big. I hope you, you can't see it. I hope. And I will wash it after it's finished. For anyone who's had experience with th things like that, should I wash it now? Um... Because I have more uh, I might be able to wash it out if it's stained. Um, I have more luck with that now than after a few years when I'm finally a few years <laughs> after many years when I'm done with it. Should I wash try to wash that spot now or don't mess with it because the fabric might shrink a bit or whatever and just leave it. What do you think? I was really bummed <laughs> this afternoon, this morning. Uh, so what else? Uh, I think that's pretty much it. My plans is to start to finish the page on Waterhall Master. Um, after that, uh, my next hate will be so many books, so little time, uh, because those two pieces need five page finishes for your whips. So. Because of th because they are for my sons, they're my focus pieces, uh, and I want to see progre progress on a few of these big projects. Because with seven hates on the go, uh, if I work on them all uh, in a row, none of them will get decent progress, and that will frustrate me. I think. Um, I hope to finish my butterfly. Before the next time you see me again. Um, yeah. I think that's it. I, I, I don't really have plans. I don't plan out my stitching. I'm, I usually know which big project will be next. And mostly I try to finish a page and then move on. But beyond that I have a screaming rotation. As I think Laura said from the Addicted Sisters. Uh, that works for me. I, I, I see I need to stitch what I want to stitch at that moment. So sweetie for me. Um, I want to do a few shout outs. If you can call it that. Because everyone knows them and not me. Uh, but Michelle Bendy Stitchy gave me a beautiful shout out at a video. Uh, oh, it made me so happy. Uh, Jesse Marie was one of my first subscribers. She subscribed 
maybe the first or the second day I put out a video uh, <laughs> that made me really fangirly and she mentioned me in a description box that uh, because she, she doesn't really do shout outs but she mentions the videos she saw that week and she mentioned me so <laughs> got me all giddy and Andrea C from iHeart's Cross Stitch she's very dear to me um, she gave me a shout out earlier just as an Instagram user and she gave me a beautiful shout out in our last video uh, we share a lot uh, we have contact outside uh, well through social media we, we got to know each, each other over there and uh, she's precious to me um, and I want to mention Mika, a darling bluebell we have some contacts as well. She's going through a bit of the same thing, but then differently. <laughs> it's different for everyone. Uh, so talking to her was always feels good. Uh, so I wanted to mention her. Uh, I'd like to do shout outs more often. And then of other new floss tubers, I haven't written anyone down, so I don't want to just call out names without thinking about it but uh, there are so many new sh new floss tubers and I think it's good to mention them so you can find them and you can find the people you really want to watch with the projects you like to see or whatever um, I guess that's it I have no idea how long it is because I got cut off and this is the second video and this is 12 minutes now I uh, see if I can put them together and put in pictures. <laughs> I really hope I can do that. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting things. Oh yeah, at the Stitch 9 challenge, uh, I mentioned last time I will probably do the 7 and I decided I, uh, to do that. Uh, the 7 um, year of whips pieces that aren't hates and one of the flower of the months I chose one randomly and uh, the first one I think and uh, my day L from Lanarte because it's almost finished um, and uh, oh yeah and because I'm crazy I did another uh, stitch 9 challenge hate edition and I put in s 9 pages from hate <laughs> Just because I can. <laughs> and uh, Melanie made a Year of Whips Extreme version. And I, I'm from the sixth. Six. Uh, so six pieces. I, I thought, oh, well, I can do that. <laughs> Before I figured out that I couldn't even do the 22 I did for the original one. But that doesn't matter. I'll go for it. We'll see how far I can get. Uh, but for the extreme challenge, I put in six flowers of the month for my six days, and I put in an extra one, the day elf, <laughs> just to make it easy on myself. <laughs> I like to challenge myself. Uh, oh yeah, one more thing. Besides cross stitch, I like crocheting, and I put my blanket here. I finished this last year, I think. It's gigantic, so I'm not going to be able to show it completely. So I put it over here. I'm sitting against it. I'm sorry, you see a lot of me close up right now. It's Nuts About Squares. Um, Esther Dijkstra put it together for a Facebook page, uh, a group. Um, CCC Official. Oh, I should have put it down. I don't know. I, 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 I used to come there all the time and right now I'm cross stitching mainly. So, But uh, it was a crochet along and she gave us one of these square, squares and most of the time we did three in different color orders. And the next week we got another square and made another three. Most of the time we made three in a week. Oh, aesthetic. Um, and I learned so much from it. I love this piece. But like I said, it's gigantic. 
and I love it and I wanted to share it for everyone who's interested in crochet I know quite a few of you knit or crochet or whatever so I wanted to share that and that's about it so thank you for watching thank you everyone for subscribing liking my video I didn't get a thumbs down yet <laughs> I feel like I'm a bit left out because most good floss tubers get thumbs down <laughs> so I must be doing something wrong but uh, thank you all for the lovely comments I really enjoyed them and uh, they, they really brightened my day make me happy so thanks a lot for that um, I hope you enjoyed watching this second video again even though I'm a bit out of balance a bit out of it uh, I hope next video will be better thank you for watching bye